Welcome back to the Blue Review. And look who's back with me today. It's Clinton Yates, the big CY. And as always, the Blue Review is presented by Los Angeles International Airport, where changes are arriving daily to help reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. And last night was a big win for the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw was fantastic until he had to leave. And he had to leave in this in this after the sixth inning because he just wasn't feeling right, Clinton. And this all this says to me is. It's just about that time for him to go on to the IL. And that's not a bad thing, but at the same time, it's, he needs to do it. And we need, right now we kind of need him on the staff. Yeah, you're right. Um, We deal with this every season, pretty much at this phase of Kershaw's career in terms of, you know, what his availability is. They showed it on the telecast and I thought it was pretty interesting. He came out and just said, I'm done. Look straight at doc and literally made a hand motion like this and walked straight into the clubhouse now, the thing about it is that, you know, if we're going to get this kind of, these kinds of first halves from Kershaw and that's just what you get, I, I'm okay with it being right now. Sure, you need him, but let's think about the cumulative effect here. This guy could effectively be starting the All-Star game. He's been that good in terms of his production on the mound. And so there's one way to look at it, which is to say, oh, that's a bummer. He's leaving the rotation. The other way is to say, well, thank God he was there at all during the course of this portion of the season. So absolutely, I think it's, it's not exactly scheduled, but I do think you're right. This is what happens with Kershaw. But right now I'm thinking, because I don't know that I had thought about the cumulative effect of all his starts, although he did not win a road game until yesterday for the first time this year. I just think that this is what you get from Kershaw now. And what we've gotten so far this first half has been excellent. Yeah, no, he's been fantastic. And his the amount of starts that he's made over the last two years is right around 21, 22 each sure. year. I think he's already at like 15 or 16 or 17. Like he's taken, he's made a lot of starts already for this season, just in general, for everything he's done for the last few years. He had 79 pitches last night. He very easily could have gone deep. He's gone over 100 pitches multiple times this season. But the, the biggest thing that in all that really matters is what he's like in October. So if he needs the time off, he needs the time off and he needs to take it off. What he's done for this rotation, he's been that stabilizing piece that we've talked about so much. It's It's been great for everything that he's given to us. Now let's give him that time off. We just need to get a little bit healthier to get there. And by the way, you said you can you can start the All-Star game. I don't want him anywhere near the All-Star game. I want, <laughs> if, he, if, he wants, if he wants to be there to be a part of the whole thing, great. But like, go, you are going to be an All-Star. You're going to be in the All-Star game. You're going to be voted in. But at the same time, you can be like, you know what? I'm going to be hurt. This will actually lines up perfect. He says that he's going to take a little bit. He's he's like, I, I expect to make my next start. After that, sit him for a little bit. Right. Extendo clip sort of, uh, yeah, you know, rest period that. that includes the all-star break. I, I I hear you. My only point was the guy's stuff is still amazing. He had a no-no going That's through right. five last night. He looked great. One walk. He didn't even strike that many guys out, sort of scattering what he was doing from a ground ball perspective. I thought he had a tremendous outing. The other thing that happened yesterday was fantastic. Just dingers. I mean, we've got a bit now where every time J.D. Martinez I love it. In the yard, we text each other. <laughs> Happened twice last night. It's great. Yeah. We got a J.D. times two. Just dingers times two last night, which we don't get very often anymore. But, like, really what this guy has done for his career and what he's done for, the, for this Dodgers offense has been pretty amazing. He has yeah. 300 career home runs now. And to do it as a Dodger for us is like, okay, great. That's amazing. But he has been a huge piece to this offense. He's been a huge piece of just this team in general to be able to come in and do the things that he's done has really been helpful. Like when he comes up, I'm expecting him to get a double, a home run. Like I expect him to do the right thing. And having that professional hitter in there is always really nice. He's also a Rockies killer over the course of his career with, I believe, five different teams. He mashes at Coors Field. So expect more out of him from this series. But, yes, it's a great reclamation project, as you talk about all the time, something the Dodgers do well. And it's good for J.D. as well. He's got a haircut. His beard's looking good. My man yeah. is he's about as good as it gets from J.D. Martinez right now. Yeah, no, he looks clean. It looks clean. And you know what else is clean? This show is clean, Clinton. And we're going to be on our clean exit here at the same time. So thank you very much to LAX. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow.